for Carla Draxler for breaking that all down for us. One day after the death of legendary El Paso figure Willie Cager, the world is still grieving the loss of one of the members of the 1966 Texas Western National Championship basketball team that broke down racial barriers. That's right. Cager settled in El Paso after his playing days. You could oftentimes see him there at UTEP games, even a few Parkland games this year. He became a beloved member of this community. And for more on Cager's passing, we return to KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver. Guys, Cager passed yesterday at the age of 81 on the 57th anniversary of Texas Western's win over Kentucky on March 19th, 1966 to win that NCAA championship. Now that team, of course, the first to win it all, starting five black players. Disney immortalized Cager and his teammates in the movie Glory Road in 2006. They were also inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Now Cager, incredibly proud to be a part of that 1966 team and also what it meant to civil rights in America. He showed off his championship ring to anyone who asked him about it. He was drafted into the NBA, but never played in the league. Instead, he was a fixture in the El Paso community, both at UTEP games and high schools around the region, like Andy just said. Today, we remember him with the help of some of his lifelong friends, as well as head coach Joe Golden. He was a major part in my career and in my life before I got to El Paso, during El Paso, and after El Paso. He's always been close to me, and I've been close to him. And we all have been close together. I just love the, the hello, you know, and the, the energy, the positive uh, energy, and then telling me all the time, man, that uh, Coach Haskins always screwed him, man, because he didn't let him shoot the basketball, and that uh, how much he loved defense, but at the same time, you better find guys that can score. And I bet, bet he's up there in heaven right now and talking to Coach Haskins <laughs> about shooting the basketball. Yeah, hard to find someone with a better sense of humor than Willie Cager. He's the sixth member of the 1966 team to pass away, along with Don Haskins, Orston Artis, Harry Flournoy, Bobby Joe Hill, and Jerry Armstrong. The basketball world honoring Cager as well today. Of course, you just heard from UTEP head coach Joe Golding. Here he is again saying Thank for, thanks for being a friend on social media. Former UTEP head coach Rodney Terry also chiming in, calling Cager a true pioneer. There was also former UTEP guard Sule Boom, who's now playing for Xavier, with a photo of him embracing with Cager and El Paso politician Beto O'Rourke also honoring Cager calling him an all-time great funeral service for Cager, for Cager are still pending, but there are hopes that some kind of memorial will be held at Memorial Gym or the Don Haskins Center on the campus of UTEP. Coming up at 6, we'll take a deeper look at Cager's life as well as his impact on the Parkland boys basketball team the last few years. Guys. Colin, thank you.